So uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's really my honor and I'm very excited to be here to uh, represent uh, the whole Deep Life Investigator to introduce you the new center that is the International Center uh, for Deep Life Investigation, which uh, is a global platform uh, for the entire Deep Life community. So um, how it is get started that uh, it started last year in October. So the, uh, the center uh, was launched at Shanghai in our university, at Shanghai Jiao Tong University. So we have uh, a bunch of uh, deep life investigators uh, participated in uh, launching this uh, center. And then, um, so uh, the deep life uh, center uh, is actually taking, we know that uh, this is a logo for ICDLI for short. Is that, uh, let's see here, uh, this DNA that's representing life, which deep into the uh, various deep environments, including uh, marine sediments and terrestrial and other uh, different environments. And so, uh, uh, the deep life um, is seeking to be, I mean, the ICDLI seek to be becoming a world-class uh, hub or leader in geomicrobiology and the biogeochemistry. And we will provide assistance for researchers to organize international projects which is related uh, to deep life. And also uh, it would serve as an um, open platform and that welcome constructive ideas and suggestions um, which we wish need to be uh, a world-class hub uh, for deep life investigation. So we uh, really welcome uh, ideas and suggestions. And I would be very honest to say that um, we don't have really experience in running the center. We really uh, need your inputs. And this center uh, is mostly based, I mean, um, so sorry. So uh, the purpose on any research goals and focus is um, including this, but not limited to, to this. Of course, that's deep life uh, legacies or uh, achievements have already answered so many uh, questions, but still there are more questions need to be tackled with, with who are deep life communities, like uh, um, the interactions of the cells in the deep and its relations with uh, the upper um, surface life and its mediated carbon cycling, its global distribution, and also uh, the limits of life, astrobiology. So these are the questions or the theme we want to uh, in the center, people uh, to tackle with, but of course not limited to this um, scientific uh, themes or research focus. So this uh, we have in the center uh, right now, like uh, we have an executive uh, committee, and we are um, here listed three persons are mostly responsible. Uh, the thing, uh, Professor Shang Xiao, and this is me, and I'm uh, mostly um, in charge of international communication and uh, collaborations. So um, uh, in regarding to international collaborations, you can contact me. And this is um, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Zhang Yu, and she's uh, mostly responsible for facilities. And also we have scientific advisory uh, committee and uh, Mish Dogan and Kai uh, Harish is the co-chairs. And also we have committee uh, members um, and we welcome also suggestions how to uh, run the center smoothly. And also uh, this center was naturally uh, based on, I mean rely on um, scientific uh, research groups in uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University. So uh, in Shanghai Jiao Tong University there are groups uh, starting a uh, deep sea ecosystem and extreme fires. And there are a bunch of different groups. Um, and in these groups, they have different, I mean, um, um, bioreactors or instruments, uh, high pressure to start a deep, uh, life in the deep. So they are stationary uh, high pressure bioreactors. 
And also, uh, there are flow-through high-pressure bioreactors, which could si simulate the venting environments, uh, like uh, hydrothermal vents or cold seeps uh, under high pressure, and uh, um, cultivate the microorganisms at a long time. And also, um, there are support from the universities that there are university facility center. They have different kinds of facilities which uh, we can apply to use to support the center. For example, there are e scanning e electron microscopes and also transmission electron micros uh, microscopes. Honestly, just before I came here, I realized we have so many different uh, instruments. <laughs> Yeah, so we can explore together, yeah. And also uh, LC, uh, MS, there are different kinds. And also there are uh, GCMS, different kinds. And uh, these are all uh, the facilities and uh, this we can apply for to support the center. And before I came here, I discussed with the dean of the facility center that uh, they are, we are welcome to use these uh, facilities. And also, yeah, other analyzing uh, in instruments. There are um, different bunches of instruments we can use for, uh, for deep life or uh, DCO-related research. So the ICDLI, um, uh, we seek, we hope that it's all, not only provide a platform for continued international collaborations, but also to have, we want to have other resources, including uh, we want to provide scientific and training courses for young researchers and provide equipment and facilities for deep life investigation. And also we will organize deep life community meeting and organize international projects related with deep life investigation. Of course, we also provide job positions, different kinds of job positions uh, for uh, uh, young researchers and also for senior researchers, if you want to come, can talk with us. And also we want to conduct DCO and DL related uh, outreach uh, activities in China. So, um, and that's how I would uh, introduce you some unplanning ICDLI activities now we are planning is that uh, uh, this is first we want to have um, a young scientist training workshop next year uh, at uh, Yunnan province in China, which is a, a very um, beautiful place. And uh, um, we are it's just right now in planning. And uh, um, um, Professor Caldwell uh, has experience in organizing before a, 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 a summer uh, course and that she, he is very much like uh, uh, support and also leading uh, this, organizing this workshop. Have, and also we will provide pilot projects uh, from the uh, last year uh, for three years at least, this funding is secured. And then uh, each year we will uh, select around uh, six and depending on the proposals that uh, at least six uh, pro projects uh, for uh, young researchers and we are planning also a flagship uh, projects, and we want to have a biology meat subduction at Tibet at 2021. So who are interested in could talk with us. And this, uh, um, I and uh, uh, Karen and Donado and uh, Martin, we at Goldschmidt meeting uh, this year, we already discussing about how to organize and what we need to do and uh, such kind of things. And I also contact the uh, uh, Institute of Tibet uh, Research uh, Institute at Beijing that uh, uh, they will lead uh, this kind of, uh, um, I mean, uh, field trip. And also another thing, I'm uh, very much uh, focusing on uh, devote my time into that I'm organizing an IODP proposal and we want to um, drill at Southern Mariana subduction zone and uh, uh, um, next month we will have um, domestic uh, um, project planning and next year we want to have international workshop and then to uh, form the proposal to submit it out. 
And um, so there are a lot of different activities. This is just uh, what we are doing right now, the activity on planning. So if you have more suggestions and activities you want to conduct using the platform, just come to us and talk about it. And also, uh, I would uh, like to say that this is really a, a joint effort from all um, DL community investigators. And also, we have funding uh, support, not only uh, from our uh, university. So uh, the workshop and the pilot project was funded by my project, by my uh, university. And we want to use this as a seed and then uh, we will uh, try to have funding support from uh, National Science Foundation of China and also uh, Ministry of Science and Technology. And of course, other resources, different resources are really uh, welcomed and talked and we can see better ways to, um, to, I mean, go to the next step of our science. Okay, that's all for your attention. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and sorry, uh, I need to say one thing is that here is the website, but actually right now at this moment, the, the website is uh, still in testing and hopefully uh, from next month, uh, the website can be uh, yeah, used. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. There's clearly a lot of exciting things on the horizon. Are there any questions? Because I was thinking there may be some people in here who are getting really excited about this and thinking, oh, how can I find out about what your plans are? So do you recommend that they just go to the website or should they write to you? Or what would be the mechanism mm -hmm. to stay informed about all the developments? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, so there are uh, different ways, yeah. Uh, first thing that uh, I think next, uh, next month, the, the website could be open, and uh, then you could surf in uh, uh, the information you want. And for example, uh, the projects, calling for project, uh, we will also post it, uh, different uh, information and news on the website. And besides, if you uh, want to uh, more easier way or a direct way, you can just uh, contact me also. That could be, uh, I can answer your email or your questions, anything. Yeah, okay. that's no problem. Thank you very much. Thank you.